this, just close your eyes. That's all you have to do. Just close your eyes wherever you are, unless, you know, let's hope you're not driving or something, you're, you know, operating a crane in the middle of Manhattan. Let's just assume you're someplace safe where it's safe for you to just close your eyes and check out for a few minutes. So just close your eyes and just listen to my voice. That's all you have to do is just listen to and follow my voice and realize that if weight is something you want to change, that that's ultimately why you're listening. The self-sabotage perhaps, the weight of your body, the feelings that you may have had about yourself in the past because of your weight. Maybe it's how you fit and how you feel in your clothes. And as you follow my voice, I just would like you to imagine that you're drifting down in a very safe, very calm, very beautiful and easy fashion. And that this floating allows you to float through the ether of your mind and float right into a beautiful room in your imagination. Like a room filled with light, a place of peace, a place where magic occurs. That kind of change, that subtle but powerful change that happens when your mind, your conscious desires, your conscious wishes align with a healthy weight for you. And that all of your behavior begins to come in line with these changes. And everything, although perhaps not perfect, becomes so much easier, almost like a beautiful relationship where you meet someone and the two of you just click like you've known each other forever and you feel so special in the presence of this other person and they feel so special in your presence. And even though no relationship is perfect, it feels different somehow. It feels magical. Because what you want is right here. It's right inside of your mind where your perfect, slim, and light body already resides. So just allow yourself to align with peace. Wherever you are, wherever your starting point is, Allow yourself to align with health. And as you go deeper into the recesses of your mind, just following my voice, for this time, that for a younger you might be considered a recess from school, a much needed break from the stresses and the strains of life, a place where you can go, like a playground in your mind that is so far away from the things that cause tension for you and where it feels so good. Like being gone on vacation. When you can just lie down in a hammock when you can be on a beach, when you can be away in the mountains, away from things that go beep and ding, to be away from the people that want things from you. And you can just relax deeper. Where you can become aware of your own breath coming and going, where this gentle breathing reminds your deeper mind that you are safe right now. And because you're safe right now, it's safe to relax 
your muscles bit by bit or even all at once when I snap my fingers at the count of one, three, two, going deeper, one, feel free to go deeper, to allow your muscles to relax, letting my voice go with you, regardless of how deep you go. Noticing the places in your body that need that recess, that need that break, and releasing these energies like rinsing away the weight, flowing away, draining down, like dirty water draining down the sink, away. whispering, a whispering on the wind in your mind. I am safe to relax deeper now. I am safe to feel good in my body. I am safe to change for my health. I am safe to feel lighter in my body. And as you are breathing now, as each word I speak dances in your ears, as your heart gently beats, you may notice your body relaxing even more. As your deeper mind opens further into the safety of your higher purpose, of changing your mind, of changing your habits and your actions, of transforming your body into lightness. Because this slim, healthy body is already a reality in your powerful mind. In your powerful mind that creates your reality. And as you eat smaller portions than before, you actually feel full with so much less than before. Your body rejoices in the lighter, smaller portions as your stomach feels full and satisfied. And that sabotaging part of you is really just a younger part of you who is looking, who is craving kindness. The smaller part that needs the adult part of you. The one that speaks with compassion and authority. The one that knows what is best what is healthy, what is right. Like counseling a small child who wants to do something silly. I hear
hear you wanting something, but this just isn't the time. Healthy food makes us strong and energetic. We've already had enough. Take my hand. We're going outside for a walk. It's time to exercise now, to play. We're going to bed now. It's time to sleep. The adult you is now in charge. The adult you sees the larger picture. The larger picture of feeling so good in your light, healthy body. Slim and strong and lithe. The adult you knows exactly what's necessary for health, for fitness, for feeling light and free. The adult you says no to the impulsivity of the child. We're doing something healthier. When the younger part wants impulsivity, you step in and gently, but firmly, say no. When the younger part of you wants to sabotage, you step in and gently say, you're safe to do something better. When the younger part wants something silly, the loving adult part of you gently says, no and firmly steers the child away to something else. You recognize sabotage as the child's need to feel safe. You actually create this awareness in the moment. You create this pause of awareness before you act. You move away from the sabotage, taking the child apart to something healthier. And how, how will your powerful and creative unconscious mind come up with additional methods to overcome the old sabotage. And any urges or cravings pass just like they always do. Just like snow melting in the heat of summer, the cravings pass just like they always do. And each time you say no. Each time those cravings pass, as they always do, you become emotionally stronger. Doesn't it feel amazing to become emotionally stronger? Doesn't it feel amazing to achieve and to maintain your goals? You know, that feeling of pride, I did it. I did it. I wasn't perfect, but I stuck to it. I took myself kindly, firmly, and gently by the hand, and I did it. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. And with each number I count, begin drifting back to the present time and place. So that when I count the number five, your eyelids flutter open, 
just like the wings of a beautiful butterfly, and you feel amazing. That sort of sense of clarity, of lightness, of resolve. One, begin coming back now, slowly and calmly, easily and gently. Two, it's like a youthful energy flowing through your body. The energy of excitement, the energy of passion, coupled with the mature energy of clarity and resolve. Three, coming back up, eyes clear as though bathed in cool spring water. Four, coming back up, almost all the way back up, feeling perfect in every way, physically perfect, mentally perfect, emotionally calm and serene. And five, all the way back, eyes fluttering open, feeling wonderful in every way, filled with optimism, overflowing with confidence.